Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today, in this video, we'll be checking out a new product from Thunder Robot. So, a quick thanks to Thunder Robot for sending over this mechanical keyboard for review. It's one of their newer products. It's called the KC3068. It's a 65% mechanical keyboard. I think it's pretty interesting and we'll get into it later. But if you guys are interested in this, at the end of the video, stay tuned because we have a special deal for you that you can get this keyboard for 50% off. Yes, 50% off this new keyboard. So, watch to the end to know how to get it at 50% off. Without further ado, let's start the unboxing and quick review. Okay, so this is how the box looks like. We have a matte finish on the black box. It's overall just a black box. Then you can kind of see the outline of the keyboard. You got up, down, left, right keys, and you have the KC3068, which is the name of the keyboard. On the right, on the left side, you get uh, KC3608, and it says "Born for Gaming." Right side, it just shows some uh, stuff that's in Chinese. The front says "Thunder Robot." The bottom, there's not much, but the logo, and then "Born for Gaming" again. Now, let's take a look inside the box. So. This is what you get in the box. You get the keyboard on top. This is how the keyboard looks like. I'll put it aside for now. Underneath, we get a Thunder Robot user manual. It's fully in Chinese, but you can check out the website if you want it to be in English and stuff. So this is the manual. And then you have a quality check sticker from Thunder Robot. On the top of the box, right here, if you open it up, you will get a braided cable that goes from USB, that's pretty interesting USB, to Type C. And it's on an L setting angle. I'll tell you guys why it's on an L angle later. And then you get this plastic that has, let me take a look, it has a keycap puller inside and the 2.4 gigahertz USB dongle. Let's put it all aside and take a closer look at the keyboard. Okay, so this is what the front of the keyboard looks like. It's a 65% layout, so it means that there is no function keys and there is no numpad, but you do get the essentials like the up, down, left, right arrow keys right here, up, down, left, right arrow keys, and then you get a few features that are pause, delete, page up, and page down on the right hand side. Now on the front, you guys you can see, you can see the Thunder Robots logo right here. On the left side is where all your switches and toggles will be. So, you will get a USB Type-C port for charging and for wired mode. You get a on-off switch and you get the 3 modes toggle that is 2.4 GHz Bluetooth and wired Type-C mode. So there's 3 modes you can use on this keyboard. On the back side over here, you guys can see that it explains some of the specs. Let me just zoom in. This is what it says, you have a wired mode. Bluetooth mode, Type C mode, and then this is how you activate the three Bluetooth modes and a few functions if you want to activate Mac mode or Windows mode. And then on the bottom, let me zoom out again. On the bottom is where it gets quite interesting. You have these feet right here on the left and right side. Now these feet, uh, there's two as you guys can see. So one, the small one gives a six degree lift for the keyboard and the big one it's an 8 degree lift so if you want a better typing experience or you don't like the angle you can actually adjust it from these two sides so if you're wondering what switches come with this keyboard is actually they come with a blue switch they are actually made by thunder robot so as you can see it's a blue clicky switch not uh some people may not like this switch because it's actually quite noisy with the clicky noise and then on the right here you guys can see again blue clicky switch and they do come with, uh, they do come pre loop with the stabilizers right here. These, I believe, are just some normal uh, plate mounted stabilizers. They sound okay in my opinion. They do have some rattling, but that's actually common with keyboards like this. As you guys can hear. Okay, now let's talk about the RGB on the keyboard. This keyboard comes with per key RGB lighting. That's really nice, as you guys can see from here. The saturation of the colors is nice, the brightness is also nice. Now, you can program the colors to be whatever you want in the software that you can download from their website. But it does come with 9 pre-installed mods. I can cycle through really quickly. So you press function and this key. You have a few reactive modes. And 
and that is basically all the nine modes that come on the keyboard. Now let's move on to the typing test. So that is basically it for the quick uh, review and an unboxing of this KC3068 from Thunder Robot. Again, thank you for them for sending this over. Now I would like to give my conclusion or some stuff I like and don't like. So stuff that I like, I like the 2.4 GHz mode, there was no latency while gaming. The RGB was really nice that you can program it in the software too. Some stuff I don't like is the blue clicky switch, but they do say that they are going to bring in their red switch in the future. So stay tuned for that. Maybe you want the red switch that is the linear and sounds better than clicky switch. You can wait a few months and see if you're gonna get it then. But if you want to get the keyboard now, I have a special deal for you guys. So me and Tadarot Bots are actually collaborating to give you guys this deal. So if you're the top 10 people to go to the link in the description, that is the Lazada link, and you add this item to your cart and you contact customer service, and say my name Samuel Tan and if you're one of the top 10 people or top first people you'll get 50% off this keyboard yes 50% so this keyboard actually costs around 300 ringgit but with the 50% keyboard 50% 50 off this keyboard you can get it for 150 ringgit only 150 ringgit for this I would say definitely get it so you have to be quick contact customer service add to cart mention my name Samuel Tan for 50% off so yeah, that is basically it for this video guys, leave a like if you like this video, dislike this video if you didn't like it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, I have more videos like this coming very very soon, and as always, thanks for watching, bye guys.